the Capricorn I5, and I hope you all have a great Memorial Weekend and had a good chance to watch the Monaco Grand Prix for F1, the Indianapolis 500 for IndyCars, and the Coca-Cola 600 for the NASCAR Cup Series. So, let's get started with this uh, topic about how Haley Deegan is doing in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. So, and to start off with the thumbnail title, I'm going to grade how mm -hmm. she's doing from 2020 from when she made her debut to 2022. So, I'm going to put the Canon East, West, and then the Ark and the Menards mm -hmm. series aside because those were not indicative of what she's doing in trucks so as you can see ever since the COVID-19 pandemic began in like spring of 2020 Haley Dean's been trying to get her feet wet and trying to actually make a name for herself and unfortunately she hasn't translated any kind of success from her previous divisions, you know. And I mean, the feeder system is supposed to help Haley, but she's not lived up to the hype. And despite having poor results, it's gonna still warn her or Xfinity, right? You know. And this summer, she's gonna do the SRX series, so it's gonna do two. One in Stafford Motor Speedway and the other in I-55 Raceway, which is a dirt. So, pavement dirt. So, I hope she gets the experience in those two races, but I don't expect her to do much. She'll be mid-pack and, yeah, it won't replicate any kind of success because of her dirt background. Especially how she ran second to Tony Stewart, I believe. And then in Sling, Slinger Speedway, ran second and won the heats to Great Biffle. But anyhow, she doesn't... I don't know what to say. Go up there in the top five and lead a lap. That's her goal. But we're going to have to lower her expectations from the summer stretch to the fall and see how she pans out because her 2020 debut at Kansas Speedway she finished 16th and she was quite phenomenal and and then in 2021 she was slow and steady and like in the two-thirds of the truck series season you know like last year she wasn't getting any DNFs. She probably at the, what did I say? The minimum, she'd be five or 10 laps down in a few of them, but like tr the one in Bristol, the second Las Vegas and so forth. She kept piling DNFs and it lo lost confidence in herself and probably and then when it came to single lap qualifying, she did qualify in the top 10 in Phoenix and then she kind of fell back and then finished 17th. And why is those results important? Because she has to have the funding first, not because of her name, the sponsors are funding to buy into a, a ride and then Probably say an example, Stuart Haas Racing, which is a board team or a satellite team to David Gillen Racing. So, so this year in 2022, it has been much. She's been crashing. She's been, I don't know, hasn't learned much, you know. I thought she learned a lot, but it's just devastating you know and 
And so I was saying about her being lost. Mm. I'm just repeating myself, but yeah. She's making rookie mistakes out there. And hmm. I don't know how many DNFs she has, but she probably has four right now or five. I can't count on the top of my head, but if she doesn't keep, you know, reducing her DNFs as the summer stretch goes on, she probably won't have the money to go to the Cup Series, you know, and she'll have to race somewhere else. Like, I don't think IndyCar F1 will be her foray, forte, whatever that word is. Or go back to off-road racing. That's where she, her dad, Brian Deegan, came from. So, so that's a wrap on Haley Deegan's NASCAR truck performance. So, oh yeah, I forgot to give her a grade. I'm not going to give her a failing grade because she's trying to improve. And beat the driver she has to beat. But I have to give her a D. I'm sorry, Haley Deegan fans. It's true. I was hyped. I was addicted to her. And then, plus, somebody called me a creep. Because all I was telling, talk to the race fans about her Kansas performance, you know, that she's having fun passing Matt Crafton or Stuart Friesen during green flag laps. So. But the thing is, those those kind of things on and off the track don't matter. She got to get her act together, you know. And I don't want to bash her for anything like that. But that's the way life is. So I make it epic card in that time. Y'all have a great day. Peace out.